Hi there. My name is Kurt Kernowitz. Today I'm going to show you how to synchronize multiple speed controls on a on a model airplane that has two or more electric motors. Now right now I have my I have the trim on the throttle on the low end of the of the band. If I move that trim up to the middle, that's where I want my that's where I want my motors to start. And then as I push higher on the trim, the motors kind of speed up a little bit. And so what happens is, when you first fire up your transmitter and your airplane, the throttle stick is at the idle setting, the trim is all the way down, the motors won't start because your trim is down here. Then you move the trim up to your spot, then the motors start up, they spool up, and then you can throttle up, fly around, land, and then shut the motors down. So let's see what happens when I do it on the B-29. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do here is show you how the ERC speed controls are synced up with the motor. In other words, how they're set up to read the, the uh, throttle stick. So right now I have my trim set right here in the middle of the band where I want it to turn on. So you always start with your transmitter on first and then you plug the battery in. Now you put the throttle stick all the way up to the high position and you'll see why here in a minute. Okay, so what happened is by taking the throttle stick all the way to the top end it did a double beep and then before it beeps I believe four times you bring the throttle stick all the way back and now the motor is synced up to this setting here so that's when the motors off okay so the motor started up on the higher end of the band. But notice that it turns off where it does. Okay, so now let's, let's go over to the 4-engine model. Okay, so now, now we're going to start all four motors on the B29 here. This is my 96-inch span profile scale model for, that I fly in control line scale. Now I have the transmitter set on the low end of the trim, so the motors are going to be off. But I swapped out the number three speed control. So it is not in sync with the other motors. As I move the trim up, notice how that motor didn't start. That's because it's not in sync with the other speed controls. shuts down first. It starts last and shuts down first. That's not what I want. I want all four motors to start at the same time. So let's fix it. Okay now what we're going to do is we're going to synchronize all the speed controls. 
it doesn't matter if they're all different it's gonna it's gonna synchronize all of the speed controls hooked into the circuit so I've got my trim set where I want it but more importantly just like in, in the in the individual you want the throttle stick at full power Okay, so now, if you remember, we started at full power, it does the double beep, you bring it back to idle, and that resets all the speed controls. So now, if I move the trim up, they all start at the same time, which is what I wanted. 